this is Kitty Blue. Um, I think my video might have cut out because my dog hit my camera. But um, I was doing a box opening for a doll that I purchased um, from Canada secondhand. Um, it is from Abitsu. It is at Odoheim. Um, I probably just spelled, pronounced that wrong, so no worries. Um, but anyways, the box was kind of damaged. I did take pictures of it. thought I was getting a video of it, but um, for some reason it just stopped. So we're just going to start in the middle with the doll here unwrapping. Um, the seller included a few cool little items. This does not fit this doll, but it this might fit some of my little USD dolls that I have. Uh, if not, then I'll probably just sell that. And I got another few little things here. So um, the Odaheim doll is an 80 centimeter Abitsu doll. I brought my Lucian doll, which is from Dahmore, out just so that I can kind of like compare the size real quick. And I also grabbed um, some wigs from Dahmore that I'm going to see if they fit. But according to the measurements, it says that the Odaheim um, dolls require a 14-15 um, uh, wig and the Dahmore wigs are 13-14. So we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, I'm going to... Unwrap this, make sure everything is not damaged. There's quite a few marks on the top of the head here. Um, other than that, doesn't seem like her head... I, mean, I thought her head moved more than what it does. I guess it doesn't tilt up and down very much. I have to look on the inside. So um, she did come with a um, body stocking. Huh. She is much thinner than what I thought she was. She's really kind of adorable. Okay, so this is her. Um, it looks like they put a onesie type outfit on her, which is probably, I would say, newborn. Um, yes, newborn size. Um, so that, I mean, that's kind of, that can be cool if, if, uh, these newborn clothes like fit. It's a good option. Um, I have bought some newborn clothes before for my Lucian dolls. Zero. Stop. <laughs> He's pushing things around behind the camera. Um, so anyways, I'm going to look, look over the doll, make sure there's no other damages. Um, looking around for my glasses because... I cannot see very well close up. So, um, yeah, as I said, I do notice some um, dirt and marks on her head. Um, I don't know if they were like that before. The seller said that there was no marks or anything on her. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Nothing seems to be broken, which is awesome. It's always scary when you receive a box that has um, some damage to it. So I'm going to hmm, see. I guess you can kind of pull clothes downwards. She's got quite a big head. I mean, she's got like an anime style, like, you know... Big, huge head. Body stocking is a little stretched out, but I probably, probably won't put her in dark clothing. But we'll see. She did say there was some dirt and marks on the body stocking. Um, I don't believe that it's on the doll itself, but I will have to take that off and look. Uh, it does look like it's got a zipper back there. Uh, real quick, we're going to put her next to sorry I caught a whiff of something that's why I was smelling her I'm not weird I don't smell dolls um, all right so she's um, shorter and obviously um, I think she's scaled more like a Children and doll. Don't think, yeah, this chest piece doesn't do anything. It swivels 
just slightly, so there's not much movement in this here. Um, should have warned that there might be doll nudity in this, so I'll put it in the comment. Because I do want to check out her body underneath the body stocking just to make sure of any kind of damages that I was not told about. So she can fit like um, like toddler shoes, I believe. I can't remember the exact size. I do have a few, but uh, her feet, I believe, are smaller than what the Dalmore um, Lucian dolls are. So this is what her... So she's got this much movement, which is nice. Um, this actually is a mobility joint here as well. But yeah, this is just kind of a hinge. It's not like the Bitsu dolls where they have an inner, inner, internal skeleton. But yeah, this waist piece pretty much is like non-existent. It doesn't do much. <clears throat> uh, her foot does have hinges on it as well. I'm getting a lot of fur and stuff. Faux fur. Faux fur because I make faux fur items and I've been working all weekend. So she's got mobility joint sort of in her arm. Actually, it doesn't want to twist, so I'm not going to force it. Um, as far as like movement in her shoulder, let's see, can she raise it up? Yeah, she can raise it up. Oh, this joint is very loose. That's kind of scary. And I guess the other arms like that too. Um, so the hands. I don't know if they rotate. I guess you can, yeah, I guess you can rotate them. I'm not going to force them too much either. Yeah, this one doesn't want to uh, swivel at all. Um, kind of wish the head tilted more, but I don't think it does. Kind of twists. It's really hard to twist, though. So there is a notch here in her head. I'm going to see whether or not I can actually, how easy that is to take off. Oh, there we go. Woo! Be right back. I just flew across the room. <laughs> and rolled across my floor. All right. So this is the inside. Um, I do have eyes, but she's got really big, huge eye holes, so I'm not sure if these eyes are going to fit or not. Um, these eyes are from Dalmore. They are, they are cat eyes. But I think these are going to be too small. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Definitely be buying eyes for her because that's, that's just scary looking. <laughs> but yes. Eyes definitely out, um, but I will fix that problem when I make a hmm. So it's really, so if you look in here, there's like a slit here and then there's the thing here where her head is, which I'm not going to try and take her head off. I guess you probably can. You might have to heat that vinyl up, but it just seems like an odd placement to, to me. Um, it doesn't give any mobility really at all. And that's kind of a shame. Oh, that kind of has me worried. I was going to like send this head out. I was going to send this head out for a, um, for a face up. And now I'm not exactly sure how to do that. I'm going to have to like check out the website or contact them to ask them if um, 
they can direct me on how I can get the head off. So. Hmm. All right. Oh, this is very uh, hard to work with, and I gotta. Oh, I should have. Okay. So I think there's, I think there's a notch right here. So I think that might be. I think that might be the bottom and the top. We will see. Oh, I think this is the top. Because I remember there were spots on the top of it. Wow. This is really hard. I'm struggling to like even get this even partially pushed in. Um, wow, because it's really hard. Like, I mean, I guess it's a vinyl, but it's like a really hard vinyl. Oh my god, I'm like starting to sweat because I'm like pushing so hard on this. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is this is crazy. Um, she's so cute. I just, wow. I'll just have to uh, always have a hair dryer on hand to try and get because I can't be like fortunate like this when she has a face up on because that's going to totally damage. Wow. Seems like it sh there should be an easier way to do that. And I don't even think that this is on um, correctly. It doesn't seem like it is. So maybe that wasn't the top or bottom. I don't know. Anyways. So that's that. Um, wigs. I'm going to try and see if her head is much bigger than the um, Lucian and Trinity dolls. So I'm going to try this. I do have a silicone wig cap. That, oh, yeah. I don't think this is going to work. Silicone stretches, but don't think these wigs are stretchy enough. No, this isn't going to work. <laughs> she's very hard to handle. She's like slipping around because she's so slippery. But at the same time, it's a little bit easier than... Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force trying to put that on. Maybe, maybe the other head, um, I don't think this is, a, is this a Dalmore head or wig too? This one might, is a little bit more stretchier. See, this is where the problem will come in because I don't really care for some of the wigs that are on, um, the Bitsu website for this doll. There's not much variety, and um, as far as searching for for wigs to fit, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like the worst, this is probably like the top five worst videos that you'll ever see me do, because, um, I mean, I knew her head was large, but I guess I didn't realize how large it was. Heck, I might even, like, try on one of my my own wigs on her and see if I can alter one of my own wigs. Um, but yeah, that's not going to work. So, that's sad, um, because Dalmore does actually have some really nice wigs, and, um... The Abitsu, like I said, the Abitsu website doesn't have very many for this size. And um, other wigs that are in 1415 are usually for reborn dolls. So they're going to be very, very thin and very um, small because they're like kids. So she's not going to have a wig until I um, order one, I guess, from Abitsu. 
I keep picking up a scent of something and I'm not sure what it is. So something is creating a scent. I'm just gonna, yeah, this is this is way too small, or way too big. This is like a three, six months old and it's kind of sliding down. But I do have some newborn clothes that I should have grabbed. Um, let's try one more because this is a really cute dress. I could pin it, but right now, oh my gosh, what have I done? I got her at a good price, but um, yeah, like I said, I'm not sure how I'm going to send her head out because I don't even know how to get that head off. Um, this is 3.6 as well. Yeah. This would look cute on her too. So anyways, um, yeah, this was kind of like a, a uh, not so great box opening since it kind of started in the middle. And um, there are a lot of like marks and dents I don't know if this is normal for this doll. Um, there's some like rough areas that aren't as smooth as the rest, but everything looks to be an okay order. Um, like I said, I just need to figure out how to take the head off so that I can send her out for a face up. And um, that is it. I wish I could have more for you, like a wig on her. On her big huge head and um, some clothes on her but I was thinking the little dresses that I brought out would fit um, and her feet are actually much smaller than the Lucian dolls because these fit the Lucian dolls and these are a size 5 I believe so I'm gonna say maybe like a size 3 but I will check out the information in the future. Okay, yeah, because all the shoes I have are five. So, um, ramble, ramble. Thank you for watching. Sorry, it was kind of a messed up video. Um, kind of random. But I heard some rattling. And, um, yeah, I mean, she's, she's cute overall. Um, once she has a face up, she'll be even more cuter. I think that they could have done a lot of things differently, like her neck, if you see her neck, her neck is like way too thick, that's completely unnecessary, um, and you see that it's at like an angle, which is just really weird to me, um, so yeah, that's just some suggestions I would have, is that I'm not sure why the neck is, it's like thin at the top and then it... So it's unlike, you know, the typical ball-jointed doll. So um, thank you for watching, and until next time, uh, which will be soon, I did a brief, um, a small order on, well, I, I don't know about small order, but I did another smart doll order for some um, chaos parts, cortex parts, and uh, those should come in maybe tomorrow, or not tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday. Monday, um, because today's Saturday, unless DHL comes today, which I don't think they're going to, because I think it said that my package was still in um, Cincinnati. So um, anyways, rambling. See you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.